Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we focus on security use cases that customers can solve with G Suite and Cloud Identity. My name is Ravi, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from our customers. How do I enable access to SaaS applications for my employees? When you look at SaaS-based applications in the market, you will see these applications supporting a variety of authentication protocols. For example, you may find some SaaS-based applications that support HTTP-based authentication and single sign-on protocols like SAML or OpenID Connect. On the other hand, you will see another set of SaaS-based applications that support uh, protocols like LDAP. In this demo, we're gonna see how to configure single sign-on using SAML-based applications and also LDAP-based applications. Let's start with uh, SAML-based applications. This is the familiar G Suite admin console. Now you start application management by clicking on uh, apps. And then click on SAML apps. We'll start onboarding SAML-based applications by clicking on this big yellow button. You'll be able to see a pre-integrated applications list here. If you don't find your applications in this pre-integrated applications catalog, you can click on set up my own custom app. For now, let's see how you can configure single sign-on with uh, an application called Asana. I'll start typing in. I'm selecting Asana. So in this first screen, you need to copy this information so that you can configure Asana to point to Google. So start copying SSO URL, entity ID, and also download the certificate. Asana requires you to type in the text version of this certificate. So I'm going to open this certificate in a text editor and copy the contents. I'm clicking on Next shows the application name. Next, here's the information that's pre-configured for you. Since Asana is part of pre-configured pre applications catalog, we've pre-configured the ACS URL and also other configuration that's required for single sign-on. I'm clicking on Finish. Now your application is already set up. Uh, in Google, I'm opening application details and clicking on Edit Service to enable this service. If your application should be available for your entire company, click on On for Everyone. You can also configure your application to be available only for a subset of your employees here by selecting one or more OUs and then enabling the application. I'm clicking on Save here, and that's it. We're done onboarding this application in Google. So now let's open Asana control panel. So here's where you will configure Asana to point to Google from a single sign-on perspective. So I'm clicking on my profile icon here and click on organizational settings. Click on administration. And currently Asana is configured to use Asana's account and password. I'm switching to SAML. And if you look at these two fields, the sign-in page URL is the SSO URL that you have seen during the onboarding of uh, Asana application within Google. And then also, this is the text version of the certificate. I'm clicking on Save. Now, from an end user perspective, End users can access this application in two ways. The first option is you can go to any G Suite application like Calendar, Gmail, Drive, and click on the App Launcher icon here. I'm scrolling down, and you'll be able to see Asana icon here. Another option is your users can open the full page version of your application hub by typing in apps.google.com slash user slash hub, where you will be able to see the full page version of your application hub. 
Here's the list of G Suite applications you have. And when you scroll down, you'll be able to see Asana here. All right. So now let's see how you can configure an LDAP-based application. Let's go back to uh, the home page of uh, Admin Console. And again, LDAP-based applications, you'll find it in uh, Applications Hub here. And then I'm clicking on LDAP. This is a list of LDAP-based applications that I have already onboarded in my system. In order to onboard a new LDAP-based system, I'm clicking on Add Client. Type in the LDAP-based application name. And then click on Continue. In this screen, you can set the access permissions for your LDAP client, right? So if your LDAP client is used by your entire domain, you'll be able to click on this. However, if your application is used only by a subset of users, and if you want only those users to authenticate through this application, uh, you can click on selected organizational units, and then you can select one or more organizational units here. In the same manner, you can control how much of your directory is exposed to this LDAP client for user lookups. Again, so you can expose your entire directory or a subset of your directory. In a similar manner, you can say whether your groups are exposed to LDAP clients or not. Now I'm clicking on Add LDAP Client to onboard this application. Within a few seconds, we will onboard this application within uh, Google. And we also have a digital certificate that you can use to upload this in PaperCut in my LDAP client. So I'm downloading this certificate. I'm clicking on Continue to Client Details. I'm going to enable this service for everyone in my domain. And now let's see part two of this configuration, that is going to PaperCut Admin Console and configuring it to point to Google. So by clicking on Options, User slash Groups, you'll be able to see the Identity Provider configuration details here. So here, there are a number of directories that you can choose. Uh, one of these options is Google Cloud Directory. If you're configuring an LDAP application that does not show Google Cloud Directory, you can select Open LDAP or Active Directory. Now let's type in, I'm typing in the domain name here. And then you can click on Choose File and then choose an app of the uh, digital certificate that I just downloaded. I've already uploaded a certificate for you. So it shows uh, the certificate expir expiration date. And now I'm scrolling down and clicking on Synchronize Now. So now the paper cut is authenticating itself with Google using the digital certificate that we have uploaded. And it was able to read a bunch of users and also groups. So from an end user perspective, they can walk up to any multifunction printer, and then they can release the print jobs by typing in their Google credentials. Because PaperCut is designed to work with Google for authentication, it takes those user credentials and authenticates with Google, and then it releases the print jobs for users. You just saw how I configured a SaaS-based application which supports LDAP-based protocol with G Suite. Um, but G Suite supports any LDAP-based application. It doesn't have to be a SaaS-based application. So your LDAP-based application can reside on-premise or in your public cloud or pub private cloud. And also, it works with uh, any of your IT infrastructure servers, like VPN servers, network attached storage servers, or any other application or service that uh, supports LDAP-based authentication. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.